Ted from the Devil's Inner Detail. Uh, as you can see, since the uh, last time, or the last video, I've been uh, building the, the door and the chrome work that goes all the way around the door. And now uh, I've refitted this uh, bit of chrome there. And I've just been putting the, the tread rubber back on the sill. And the trim that goes on the face has actually seen uh, a lot better days. But it is 50, 60 years old. No, 60 years old it is. Near as dammy. And so I've just started um, the polishing process to try and uh, bring it back to life. So I've got the uh, polishing machine out again. And uh, I'm going to crack on and see how much of this I can bring back to life. Because it's... Uh, I'll show you where it fits. It goes over the rubber tread and runs down the bottom of the door where the door shuts. So, you know, you open the door and you do see it. So let's see if we can't make it look respectable. Right, so I'm gonna crack on and uh, do some polishing and see what it comes out like. So I'll see you a bit later. Bye for now. Right, I thought I'd give a little bit of an update of uh, where we've got to. Um, as you can see, uh, we've now got all the door furniture fitted with umpteen screws that have to go on. All the chrome mouldings are now fitted and yesterday I was working on this uh, sill and you saw the the moulding uh, that I was working on yesterday um, today I've uh, put this uh, trim back in and now there is another chrome moulding or aluminium moulding that has got to go back um, a loss of, across the bottom of the door line and as you can see it's not in the greatest of condition so there's going to be a few hours getting this looking appropriate to go back in um, I don't know for what reason somebody stuck some tape over this um, but I'll try and remove it and polish the rail back up and it's quite a long rail um, I'll show you where it fits basically you can see all the assortments of screws new screws that I've purchased to put this back together but this will fit across and onto this rail to finish off um, the edging for the rubber tread and then screws down on the inner sill. So I'm gonna get that looking a bit better. Uh, before I start, I'll try and remove some of these dents, if I can get behind um, to get them out, try and straighten them up so it doesn't look so bad. Um, you know, these things are 60 years old and have took a bit of a knock, so I'm never gonna get them perfect, but we'll try and get them as good as we can and um, they'll certainly look a lot neater once I've finished them. So I've got the wheel ready, um, we have got another wheel, I'll just show you this one, this is a new one, um, 
it's a bigger machine. Um, it hasn't been fixed to the ground, so um, I'm not using it at the moment. This other one don't need to be fixed. Now I'm trying to get as much as this done before uh, really. Um, I've got a Ford Escort arriving on Monday and uh, that could be taking up some few weeks work so I'm trying to get as much of this done as I can this week. So there we have it, uh, that's the update but I have to say that uh, it does look a million times better with the hardware back on the car, breaks the colour up, looks a lot nicer. Um, also fitted this trim. Uh, it's coming along. I've still got to get the windscreen fitted, but I'm going to wait till it's a little bit warmer uh, for reasons I explained previously. And um, I've ordered the paint to paint the other panels. So uh, it's all happening, not as quickly as we'd all like, but none of this, you know, is quick. And the exhaust system before that was put up, that was all had to be repolished. And these things take hours, not minutes. So, you know, it's, um, it's not a quick job. Um, this rail could take two, three hours, you know, to uh, get it looking reasonable. You know, it's all time. Um, and, you know, how much difference does it make? Well, I think it makes a lot of difference. It's the small details that stand out. and. Um, like you can see with all the polishing I did on the side rails, it does make a difference. So It has to be done. If you want them to look good, got to put the time in. No shortcuts. Right then, I'm going to get polishing and um, I'll see you soon. I just thought I'd uh, try and show the sort of difference that a little bit of effort can make. Uh, I've been on this for about five minutes and as you can see it's starting to come up quite nice compared to how it was and it should look nice back on the car The carpet butts up into here, so this is the edge that you'll see from in, inside the car. So, very pleasing. Just got to get on with the rest of it now. Here we are, got the, the rail cleaned up as much as I could. That's all fitted and all screwed down and this side's ready to have the carpet done I'll do the other side and when the windscreen's put in we'll get the carpet put in but while people are going to be inside the car working I'm not going to put the carpet in to have foot marks and everything all over it but this side's all completed. Very happy. So, uh, onwards and upwards. And I'll see you on the next one.